Cheshire Hall Plantation was established sometime during the 18th century. After the American Revolution, many British citizens who wanted to remain loyal to the king left their homes in America and were granted land in a few of the British control islands in the Caribbean. One such person was Wade Stubbs. Originally from the English county of Cheshire, he was granted 860 acres of land on North Caicos where he established a plantation called Belfield, which was later renamed Wade's Green. There he grew cotton and sugarcane. Thomas Stubbs was encouraged by his brother Wade to leave his home in England and set up a plantation on Providencialis, which was then known as Blue Hills or Provident Key. In honor of his native county in England, named his plantation Cheshire Hall. The land was cleared of forests and divided into cotton fields and pastures to grow food crops for the owner, slaves, and animals. After only a few years, the plantation was producing large yields of the Sea Island cotton preferred by the textile industry in England. However, in 1789, the plantation was infested with a pest that they had never seen and could not control, the chenille worm. And, unfortunately, with the loss of the forest, the productive soil of the plantation was very thin, resulting in not as many cotton trees being able to grow. In 1810, Thomas, unable to make a success of Cheshire Hall, sold it to his brother Wade. The remaining complex visible today includes the main house, which was once a two-story residence of the plantation owner, the base for the cotton press, which was used to pack the cotton into bales for shipment, a well, which was the source for water on a plantation, the base of a windmill, which was used to power the cotton gin, and the overseer's house at the main entrance. Unfortunately, Cheshire Hall's location at the heart of Providencialis has meant that field boundaries, slave quarters, burial sites, and rubbish dumps have not been located and have probably been lost to development.